Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this video about IBPS PO mains, one mini mock test in practice mock chemicals. This is 2021 test series. So in this video, I will solve how I am solving this type of TIs. So in last video, I posted one of the mains TI and this was the second Caslet mains TI. So let's get started. So first, the given there are five trends A, B, C, D, E. So given there are five trends A, B, C, D, E. Okay. And these five trains have each have the different capacity. Each train has three types of seating classes. So each type has three types of seating classes. So first seating class was general. Okay, next seating class was sleeper, and third seating class was AC. AC class. So in this AC class again divided into three types. So these are first type and second type, second type AC and last one was third type AC. Okay. So first type AC, second type AC and third type AC. So given one person can accommodate only one seat. The number of persons traveling in general class of train seat is one fourth of the number of persons traveling in the sleeper class of train seat. So here, given one person can accommodate only one seat, the number of persons traveling in the general class of train seat. So the general class of train seat is here. So this is equal to the one fourth of the number of persons traveling in the sleeper class of train C. So it means we say that for example it's 4x. So C was one fourth of sleeper classes. So it means x. Okay. Next. The total number of persons traveling in the train B is 99 less than the total number of persons traveling in the train C. Okay. In this there is one more information about C. So total were 882 okay and given b was 99 less than the total number of persons so here 882 minus 92 so here 790 was the b value okay next the next line was the ratio of the number of persons traveling in the first second third tire acc was so here first second third of tire acc 12, 10 and 11. So this is C. So we will draw this table to reduce our confusion in these values guys. Okay. So this is I think it's general and sleeper. First type AC, second type AC and third type AC. Okay. Next. So here the number of persons traveling in general class of train A is 180. So the given fixed of A general class 180. So which is 300 less than the sleeper class. So 480. 180 plus 300 is 480. Okay. Next. The number of persons traveling in the sleeper class of train A. So the number of persons traveling in the sleeper class of train E here is 100% more than the general class of train E. But suppose it is Y of general class of E. So sleeper class was 100% more means 2Y. Okay. Next was. So the average number of persons traveling in second tire AC in each of the five sections. So here second tire AC of all the five sections are given 44 so 44 into 5 so 220 was the all the five of secondary AC next the number of persons traveling in the 
third AC of all the five trains is six less than the second tire of AC. So 220 minus 6 114 of is the total value of third tire AC of all the five candidates. So all the five trains. Okay, next. And next point was so the ratio of number of persons traveling in so the ratio of number of persons traveling in third AC trains A B C D E given the ratio 60 30 22 here 22 means to, you will multiply 11 with 2 so you will get the ratio of 3 times 16 30 so this is into 2 22 9 30 as well as you will, you will multiply this with 2 because 11 into 2 22 so 24 20 and 22 okay so this is the given ratio next the number of persons traveling in train e is 714 so total persons of e was 714 out of which 14 persons are traveling in first tire so 14 persons traveling in first here i round up the exact values of given general and sleeper and ac classes so that's why due to confusion purpose i marked this given absolute values so next was Yes, the number of persons traveling in train E is 714 out of which 14 persons are in first tier of AC and 40 are traveling in the second tier of AC. So this is given. And next was the number of persons traveling in the general class of B that was is 100 less than the, the number of persons traveling in the. So for suppose it is P, P minus 100 was the general class. Okay next just we will assume different variables with given sentences so next we will solve all the equations you will get the values easily so that's why first you will assume through our given data with different variables okay next so total number of traveling in gender class of all trains 870 so general class was given that was 870 was the total of all five trains next the total number of persons traveling in sleeper classes of all the five are so 2440 this one also given okay so by using this we will find out the values so first of all So first of all you will find out these values so here the third tire of ac ratio 16 30 22 9 30 so all the given so this total was 114 you will equate these variables with this one so 16 plus 30 46 and 22 68 and 9 77 and 30 107 okay so 107 into 2 114 so we will multiply these with 2 so 32 given the obtained value 60 44 and 18 and 60 because each multiplied with 2 you will get the value 32 plus 60 92 and 44 plus 18 plus 60 is 114 next so already ac of e was 14 plus 40 54 and again 64 114 you will subtract 714 minus 114 so 600 600 so y plus 3y was 600 here y plus 3y was 600 of e okay y plus 2y so 3y was 600 so each y was 200 so 200 and 400 so here you will get a value of all the general sleeper ac okay next We will go to the next one. So that was so 
so all the three types are given okay next e value is already formed so next we will go to the so d value or lc value okay so here for we will go to the c value c of third type was 44 because we will multiply 22 with 2 you will get the value as well as you will multiply 20 with 2 40 and 24 with 2 48 so already ac types of first second third of c was 48 40 44 you will add these three values 48 plus 40 88 88 plus 44 132 already c value was 882 882 minus 132 so you will get the value of sleeper and general so here obtained value is 7, 750 so 5x it means x plus 4x was 750 each value was 150 here x was 150 okay 4x means 600 so 750 is over so c value and e value we will find out already using these values we will get the absolute it means correct values of c and e next we will go to the gender class of all the five was 870 okay already a was a c e is also there c was 200 plus c 150 350 plus a so 350 plus a 530 so a c e was 5 530 and remaining b d we will find out now so total was 870 minus 530 so here 340 was the value of b plus d so here b and d was d is d equal to p and b equal to p minus 100 so 100 less than the d value was b so b plus d here was 340 so p plus p minus 100 was 340 so 2p equal to 440 so p equal to 220 so here 220 100 minus okay 220 minus 100 120 so total 340 satisfies so next value was okay So these are the values of given tires, tire 1, tire 2, tire 3 of ACs and general and also sleeper. So next we will move questions given in this particular DA you will get the remaining values also. So this is a way of solving this type of DAs. First you will assume the different variables of given sentences and next you will calculate the exact value of these sentences using of given variables so first one was so the first question was if the total seating capacity of a was 1000 out of so here if the total seating capacity of a is 1000 I suppose the given is total seating capacity was 1000 so this is except expected one and out of which 164 are vacant so 1000 minus 164 so 3 8 so 836 are filled with general sleeper and AC of 3 tiles so here the number of persons traveling in first tire AC is twice that of the number of persons traveling in the third tier of AC so already third tier of AC was 32 so first tier was twice that of third tier so 64 because twice 32 into 2 64 so next already A was 836 so after vacant it was 836 so now we will find the second tier of A already general was 180 and sleeper was 480 so total 16 660 and AC class of first tier was 64 724 and AC class of third 32 so here 756 we will get we got next 836 minus 756 okay 80 so 80 is the 
answer of this question so this is the way of solving these values it means this type of ti's so just you will practice more number of ti's you will get an idea about how to solve this type of ti's in an easy 